Hi. What do you got for? I'm what? I do agree with a lot of your points. Okay. Thanks. Um, with my past history, I was married at 21 and um, got divorced late, later after that. Had, um, came off the market, went back on the market. Um, do you have a question? But I do. I feel like both men and women should prove themselves to each other. Why? All right, because, okay, in relationships, it's a give and take. Right? You have to get to that point of getting to marriage. Pitch, with you, you're saying, okay, he has worked his way up. A lot okay, of women. Who, who, has to, who has to get to that point? Both. No. That's why you're wrong. No. Why do you feel that way? I don't feel that way, I think. Okay. See, women control access to sex. We have to work our way up to sex with you. True or false? True. Right. You have to work your way up to marriage with us. Right. Well, no, right. it's not right because you just said it's 50. It, we both have to work. So if that's the case, you in that, in your sex scenario, oh. you'd have to work yourself up to sex with us and men are ready to have sex almost immediately. So do you feel like women do don't you, have to prove How, how old are you? I am 33. I like to th I like to talk in terms of think instead of feel. Okay. Okay. So your question again is what? My question is, why do you not feel like men? Well, why do you not think that men should prove themselves to women? Because you don't propose. We do. Correct. Okay. I can see that. Okay. Let, and, me, let, me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. When you go to for a job interview, is it on you to prove yourself worthy for the job or is it for the company to sell you on the position? Both. What's paramount though? What's paramount though? What's paramount? Yes, let's not play games, 33 year old woman. Do you think it's more. Okay, so let me get this right. The way you're talking is what a top candidate would do. Okay. I said a job. A job. So you so, don't feel like a woman is a top candidate? Again, think. <laughs> See, this is the problem. You ladies act like you have more leverage than you do. I'm not saying that. Yes, ma'am. You said a woman is a top candidate. I'm talking about women in general. I said, do you I'm, not think that a woman is a I, top candidate? That by The question you're asking is, do I think all women are top candidates? Do you not no. feel that way? No. That Are way? you serious? Are you all tens? No, but I'm still okay. You're gonna be a ten in that guy's eyes. The no, man you're that you're no, you're not. No, you're not. Okay. You said you were married. Yes, I was married. And who filed? For, and you're divorced now. I did. We who were filed from for divorce. Cultures. Huh? Because I did. I filed for divorce. Why? Or it's because we were from two different cultures. He was from Ghana. I was from here. There, How um, long were you married? For six years. Then two different cultures don't, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Is um, He started resenting me after I did not want to have children until I was finished with school. Ah, oh, another one of those women. Another one of these women who want to put their another one of these women who want to put their degree and their job and all that other stuff before I, life. Okay. But I did say I do agree. I do agree. It was I do regret it now, looking back on it, because I didn't have to work through uh, through um, my. Graduate. So let me ask you, how long have you been divorced? I've been divorced since I was 27. No, I mean, I mean, I don't know, ma'am. How many years? So five, years. Huh? five years. Huh? Five years. Five years. And you're married for six years. Yes. So you, that's 11 years. You're 33. Years. So, so you're married for six years. Yes. And you've been divorced for five years. That's uh, 11 years total. So that means you got off the dating scene at around 21 or 22. Yes. 
All right. So in the last five years, how many proposals have you fielded from valuable men? None. There you go. Because your value is lower. You had a man, you left him for a ridiculous reason. And are you honestly thinking at 33, a productive, competitive, successful, a man of the caliber who's a marrying man has to come prove something to you at 33? I feel like I prove I bring something to the table. He brings something to the table. No, no, no. But see, the thing is, the thing is, ma'am, and what you need to pay real close attention, you're still talking like you have leverage. You bring something to the table and so do the other 20 women that want that man. Correct. Women who talk like you. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Spotlight News. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's give respect to the fallen legend papa kevin samuels you left a big legacy and you may your name be remembered for all the good work you've done to the black society most especially black women and black men because if you guys are to listen to these videos i think they are so helpful and guys don't forget to like share and subscribe as we proceed to this story and let's yeah clap for our godfather because at least he brought light to the world so guys today we are going to look at this old 32 years old she said she's 200 pounds that's her weight and she thinks she would go to gym she she thinks she will go to gym and at least maintain her body somehow and she said she she is a divorced lady but according to what I've heard in this video, she is just in a confused state. Because when they asked her, which state are you? She said, I'm in a state of decision. You know, she doesn't know where she has to go. She doesn't know whether she did the right step or she did the wrong step. Here we go. I don't, I've always looked at these videos and a lot of ladies are divorcing their mind. Afterwards, they, they, they regret let's look into this me one thing i think ladies at times we ladies we don't think when you're leaving a man you just wake up you feel like you're mad you're annoyed you you maybe your husband has cheated on you and you're like i'm not going to be in this shit you end up leaving your marriage for cheating husband you go and find a man who cheats every now and then moreover with like five kids with different daddies you know at times, we leave our marriages because we think the street is open for us. We can have a better way of dealing with the street. Then after reaching that side and the street becomes hard for you, that's when you feel like you want to go back behind and the person cannot take you in anymore. Because according to, my, to the statement of this lady, I don't think she was so submissive to the husband. I don't see any sub submissiveness in this relationship. You know, have you ever been in a relationship, not a relationship, whereby any slight, you wait for someone to do any slight mistake, you're like, I've gone. Any slight mistake, you're like, I'm going away. I can't live with this, with such a person. So I think, according to her statements, I don't think there was too a lot, but you know, us ladies, uh, and the third thing is about friends. At times, you see, us ladies, we want to prove to our friends because now you come and tell your friend, you know what, Papa did this and this to me, and the friend is like, you know what, why, why should you stay in such a to toxic relationship? Move away. But in the fact is, the relationship is not toxic, but the relationship it's because it's you. You're the toxic person in this relationship. But because as ladies, we have that hunger issue. You can't sit and look into why I'm quitting my relationship. Because of the hunger issue, you will end up leaving because you want to prove the society. By the end of the day, you may suffer wanting to come back. And that exact person can't take you in. Guys, let me hope we can find this divorce. Someone divorces from nowhere. They, we don't just see you're going to divorce and be a single mom. You're going to divorce and regret. Okay, I don't support, I don't support torture. 
in homes. But if you're well off with a man and he's right, why don't you sit and first sort things? When they fail, that's when you move away. But at the end of the day, we feel like, yeah, we are what we are. Because you'll be like, yeah, I'm good. I can go and face the streets. But my dear, I think Mr. K KS was always was right. Because if you go beyond 30 years, my dear, it's very hard to find a, a father to your kids or to be there. Because, you know... At times you hear someone calling, but they're just in a confused state. But one thing I've learned most is you can't come and call when you don't want to understand. It's like explaining to someone who does, who is willing to listen, but that person is not understanding what you're doing. It's like a golf, it's like a golf game. You know, you don't understand what you're doing, but because you want to show the community that I do golf, you know. So this is that the state whereby you end up missing what you cannot return you end up missing what you can't carry you know uh as ladies we have that temper we have that temper whereby you're short tempered at least at times we think out of the box then after doing that step you feel like it's the right step then you feel like you want to come back whereby at times someone has already moved on at times someone is already what they feel they are so guys i think if you're to listen to this lady i think she needs to help us off out because yeah you need to you need to have that that grudge you need to feel you need to find yourself before someone finding you because if you don't find your inner person even when they tell you a hundred times. So how can they help you? Because at times we, we look at different ladies. Someone comes very confused. In fact, when you're to look in the reason, there is no clear reason. There is no cl clear evidence about the, what the person is talking about. You'll be like, what the hell? What the hell is this? So I think this was amazing. You know, here... If you're to listen at Papa Kevin's videos, you will get to know it. They talk about feminists. They talk about marriage. They talk about divorce. They talk about finding a partner. They talk about how you can tame yourself. Because if you're to listen to them, you will get that understanding. If you've been thinking out of your mind, here will come to reality. You know what? One thing I loved about everything. Papa was a very straight person. He won't tell you what you want to hear. He will tell you what you have to hear. Not like these pretenders. You know, there are some people who are pretenders. They will tell you, they will praise you, but behind the back, they're talking about you here. He used to tell you the fact not what you want to hear but what you really want what you really have to do what you really have to move on with not what you want to hear so i think we should look into the mirrors ladies let's style up because you're calling someone for for guiding you and you're the same person arguing about the same person guiding you why don't you sit and listen? Then you'll be like, yeah, you pick what's really relevant for you. What will really work for you. And divorces are many. Let's fight this divorce thing. If you're, think, if you're thinking of divorcing, you can come and check in and you see. Hey guys, so today I have a story for you at the end. As I was coming to town, uh, I had food. You know, I was going with it home, cooked food, rice and rice and chips. So I got this married I got this mad man lying down. I got this married guy I, I got this mad guy lying down sleeping. I call the guy in deep fear. So when the guy turned, I had to give a street guy, but somehow mad, I don't know, yeah. I gave him the food. The guy first did like this. Then when I gave him the food, the guy smiled. I felt like, oh, yeah, people need us. Because, guys, as I told you, we are working on this charity thing. We should, I think, uh, I want to give out whenever I find where I can help. We can come in for help if you have any help. Because here, 
a lot of sweet kids are around the world. They have nothing to eat. They have nothing to do. You know, you find a young kid suffering on the streets. So, guys, I think we are still talking about the charity. If you have any idea, you can add a commentary or a text here. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.